Hey, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to play smarter, which is a really broad title, but basically I'll be talking about a few things that not a lot of people think about, and if you do think about them, you'll probably start to win some more games. Check the description for timestamps if you're looking to hop to a certain topic, but let's hop into it. So first thing I want to talk about is something me and my teammates call a high drop. This is for those people who are trying to land at their own house. Say you're landing at a POI or an outskirt drop spot that has a lot of houses, like maybe that spot near Lighthouse with all those houses. Something you can do is pull out your glider just a little bit higher than you normally would and scan the area. Look for where your opponents are going and try to steer yourself to an uncontested house. The one thing you need to be on the lookout for is someone landing early, getting a gun and shooting you out of the sky. This is a concern mainly at places with a tall building that has ground loot at the top of it, like that center house at Lazy. Like they could grab the gun and start shooting you out of the sky if you're high dropping there, but it works for a lot of different places. But yeah, if you're trying to land uncontested at a house, this is one way to do that. I personally like to land somewhere with other people and fight off rip, but back when I wanted to drop low key, this worked really, really well. On top of that, if you high drop, you know exactly where all the opponents landed, and you can try to kind of figure out where you're going to rotate next. Maybe you don't get enough loot at the house you're at, and you can figure out where to rotate from there. Like say there's another house nearby that's not looted, or you could dip from the POI or something like that. Just knowing where they are gives you a big advantage. Say you get enough loot at your house, you can push over to their house and fight them real quick. But yeah, next I want to talk about a mindset for fighting that I like to use. If you've seen some of my videos, you know I'm all about getting those cheeky peek shots and playing angles. Unless I have crash pads because then I just like cannonball in on them. You know the vibe. So one thing I try really hard to keep in mind while fighting is avoiding 50-50s. This is a skill that not a lot of people think about. I still struggle with it a lot, like it's hard to avoid psychos trying to get in your box or maybe you accidentally 50-50 them by jumping in their box. It's just like a bad habit. So I'm going to try to explain to you how I'm starting to avoid 50-50s and win more fights without even taking damage. And this will also help you if you're getting psychoed or say you're weak or something and you're getting psychoed, this will help you out. So let me, let me explain. So basically to avoid 50-50s and avoid psychos, I try to keep a safe distance and always know my exit points. For example, maybe I'm in a one by one and I'm starting to get pushed, right? I'll make another one by one right next to me. That way, if they psycho into my box, I can just back up into that other box and reset the wall. And once they psycho into my box, they're surrounded by my builds. So it's like I peace controlled them without even doing anything. It was just their own arrogance jumping into my box that got them in a full box of my builds. So anyways, they'll be full boxed in my builds and I'll be safe in my own other box. And I'll start setting up peak shots from that box or get a cheeky angle from the side. Since they're in my builds, I can set up angles from the sides also. If you are weak, they'll probably just keep psychoing you. So let me show you an example of how I handle getting psychoed when I'm weak. Pay attention to my movement when I get weak here also. I do side jumps and tunnel away until I can heal. And I also try to set up extremely safe peak shots while I do this because I know if I can get a solid shot on them, they're gonna back up and heal, giving me the opportunity to heal as well. I also try to juke out my opponent, make them think I'm going one way and then go the other, just to gain that extra few seconds to heal. If you just tunnel away in a straight tunnel, they'll easily be able to run outside your box and then psycho in when you stop tunneling. So you have to kind of juke them out. Holy. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about late game and some things you need to be paying attention to in late game. Lots of people get too distracted by the commotion in late game, but a big thing that separates insane players from just good players is awareness. In late game, you need to be aware of when and where the storm is pulling, where other players are, how many mats you have, the ammo count you have, stuff like that. Before rotating, you should be looking around and seeing where players are and if they could potentially be looking at you. If you think someone is gonna take a shot at you, just expect it to happen. Be ready to build. 
or maybe wait until they rotate. If they need to rotate, wait for them to go and that's when you can go safely. Make it a habit to check your mats frequently. Anytime you get in a box and have a second, just check your mats, ammo, and storm. I always mark the circles when it gets to moving zones just to have that extra reminder of where it is. And I also try to mark the part of the circle I want to get to. When it gets to moving zones, I try to aim for the dead side of the moving zones. That way, I can avoid running into lots of players, or I can start building up to high ground safely. And if the zone pulls in my direction, and I'm on dead side of zone, there's gonna be no one around to compete with my high ground, you know what I mean? And if you don't already know, basically dead side of zone is the side of zone that has the least amount of players. But if you want to start winning in more games in late game, you need to start forcing yourself to practice going for high ground. Just look at high ground anytime you have an opportunity. A lot of times it won't even be contested in arena. Or it'll just be someone single tarping up there and you can easily shoot it out and then just crank up and they won't contest you again, usually. But yeah guys, hope you learned something new in this video, something that'll help you out. I have a lot of projects in the making, like new creative maps and a lot more tutorials. So stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, comment on the video any video ideas you want me to do. I'm always writing down new ideas that you guys offer me, so if you have an idea, throw it in the comments. Also, let me know if you want part two to this video, just giving tips to how to play smarter. I can definitely make that happen. But yeah guys, peace.